Hi YouTube, this video is for Christians, so if you're not a Christian, please change the channel. As you can see, the name of this video is Worshipping Hebrew Culture. I wanted to warn you about these people who are trying to pull Christians away from the God of Israel into worshipping and conforming to the Old Covenant and Hebrew culture. They think that they're serving the Lord, and they're very sincere and zealous, however. They are in error, and what they're doing is wicked in the eyes of God. Here are a few of the wicked things that are going on. Number one, the replacement of spiritual revelation with intellectual understanding. They want, to, they want to move you away from seeking revelation from God and waiting for God to show you things to seeking revelation by studying Hebrew culture. They might say something like, oh, don't read the King James Bible or some other version that you read. They'll say, read this Hebrew Bible. Christ and the apostles were Hebrews. They spoke Hebrew and Aramaic, so you have to read this Hebrew Bible to really understand the things of God. They also allege that if you don't understand Hebrew and break down the Hebrew etymology, you'll miss the truths of God. And that's a lie. And if they said that to Abraham or Moses, they think that they were crazy. God is in the Bible. Our faith isn't a bunch of letters going across a page. Truth is a person, Jesus Christ, Son of God, and he didn't send us a manual to Hebrew culture to lead and guide us into all truth. He sent us the Holy Spirit. Studying Hebrew culture can give you background knowledge and increase your intellect, but you can't access the things of God through anthropology or any other ology. That's not how it works. The things of God are revealed by God's Spirit. And he hides his things from those who think they're wise and prudent and reveals them to babes. No matter what Bible version you read, if you're not seeking revelation from God's spirit, you will only have book knowledge. It doesn't matter if you learn Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek and study the original manuscripts. Without spiritual revelation, you only have a head full of information. The Lord brings information to life in us when he reveals it to us personally.
Number two, they glorify Hebrew culture instead of God. Yes, the scriptures were written by Hebrews, but the scriptures aren't about Hebrews. The scriptures are about God. The Old Covenant pointed to Christ, and the New Covenant reveals him. If someone alleges that they love the Lord, and they study under his guidance, but all they talk about is Hebrew customs, something is wrong with that picture. The scriptures are about God, not Hebrew customs. The Hebrews received many of their customs only because God chose them and gave them those laws. What sense does it make to remove the focus from God and place it upon the customs? The vessel wouldn't have had the characteristic or attribute if it wasn't for the potter. Christ said that the Father can make Hebrews out of stones, so it's not about genetics and customs, it's about God and knowing him intimately. God said that he chose the Hebrews because they were small in number. There were other nations that were greater than them. God doesn't change. He does the same thing in the New Covenant. He uses what is seen as small and abased to humble those who think they're great. He does this so that no one will boast in the vessel, and he can get the glory. Boasting in the vessel is idolatry.